Hi everyone, I hope you are doing very well today. Thank you so much for joining me here today in the media and you. In today's video, we will be discussing on the effects that the media may have on our bodies and most specifically on the effects that it has on women and men. If you are interested in any of this, please keep watching. So to get started, I first off want to say that I identify as a female and my pronouns are she and her. I just felt the need to express that out to you guys today. Um, as a female, I have definitely felt the pressure that me the media has put on women. And I've experienced this many, many times over my 22 years of life. And it is very prominent on both females and males. So society has done some small movements um, throughout the years. Um, one specific movement I remember was Victoria's Secret, including plus size models and Calvin Klein and so many other media campaigns that these companies have done to really be inclusive to all body images which i think is truly amazing and very empowering to every single community that may feel uncomfortable or may feel left out again i think that is great but i still believe and see this on a daily basis that this master narrative on the ideal body image is still living in society and I just want to point out as, I guess, a fun fact or something that I never really paid attention to up until I started my degree in communications and how much the media contributes to these ideas that we have within ourselves. And one of them being Disney princesses. I'm sure we've all seen these movies and these fairy tale films and I'm sure we have all noticed that all these princesses are have this body shape. They're perfect. They have the most perfect characteristics. And I've never seen, uh, at least that I don't know of, a princess being a little overweight. The only one I can think about is Moana. And it's kind of crazy to think about that, you, that I would even say that Moana's a little overweight but she's not. It's just that manufactured ideal in me already that I've come to realize with that Moana is overweight because Cinderella, Snow White, or Sleeping Beauty, whatever, they are very thin. And if we compare the two, Moana is a little, she's thicker. And I just think that realization is powerful because we as a society have become so controlled in the image of a woman that we expect these hourglass figures um, when that should not be the case. Even with those dolls that I would play as a young girl, I remember their waist being tiny. That is, it was unreal though that that body image is it's not real and it's not something that we see every day. I've never seen anyone with that kind of body without any kind of surgical enhancement. So even the things that we used to play with as young girls could have definitely been a potentially, potentially um, harmful communication to us because we thought that that's what women should look like and not only that but these sexualized roles that women had very early on men only looked at women because of their beauty and women only looked at men because of their money so again this perfect image started way way before the mass media was created like you know facebook and twitter it was because we met people like walking on the sidewalk. So how did we get that attention is because of beauty was something that had to be prioritized. I just thought that I would bring up these, these things that I've seen um, just contemplating on this topic that how much the media has 
power over us, over this such a huge part of our lives, which is our body image. Everyone deserves to be happy with their bodies. And the mass media does a really great job of communicating to its audiences of how this ideal beauty looks. And as a no, I do want to state that I don't believe every single media outlet has the goal to show everyone what the perfect woman looks like. I don't believe so. But I do believe that if we are constantly taking in that perfect image, that our our minds may be accustomed to believe that this is how I should look. Because society and the mass media has such a big emphasis on the thinness of women, we research shows that women are more prone to spending money on changing or modifying their bodies or in participating in very unhealthy behaviors like becoming anorexic or having bulimia nervosa or just general eating disorders to upkeep this image that society wants from them which in turn can not only affect the body, but it can also be mentally disabling. So with women, and of course men too, but right now we're focusing on the ladies, (laughs) body dissatisfaction from the media is a very, very big thing because it changes the way they look at their own bodies. They compare themselves with other women online or whatever they may see on television or the newspapers, whatever it may be that they're exposing themselves to, it could potentially harm their body image and their self-esteem. Crossing over to the next gender, which is men. How does the media affect men's body images? And I want to start off by saying the exact same thing I said for women. Men are also grown up with this perfect male body image even with disney movies as well what do the princess look like who goes to save them the only movie i can possibly think about right now that is about a man is shrek and he's an ogre which like i'm sure you get what i'm saying but Like, these men are ripping out of their shirts and everything, and that definitely causes some influences on a young boy. You know, what do... What do little kids want to be when they grow up? Superman, or Batman, Spider-Man, and what do they look like? They're ripping out of their bodysuits, basically. (laughs) So that has a very big impact on them, whether we realize it or not. Um, They're growing up with these body images, and of course they tend to grow up with them. Maybe not with everyone, but um, it is seen and researched information that men do also have these body disorders, these negative self-images against themselves. With men, it is more acceptable or emphasized to have muscular bodies or their muscular structure because men are more prone to want to build body mass Um, But they are also more prone to developing eating disorders. Just as women, they can develop anorexia, nervosa, or bulimia. But one thing that the media may do to men is, again, lower their self-esteem and lower their self-image. This can happen with women, of course, as well. But research shows that men are more likely to engage in more negative behaviors, of course, versus women and these negative behaviors are in taking steroids and taking way more food than their body can handle and again those eating disorders as anorexia nervosa or bulimia or not eating at all and this could be again very compromising to the male's body system and so all in all the mass media does have an effect on every gender you know no one is protected from these negative effects that the media may certainly have on us so all this that i have said either with women or men it can happen to anyone it's just research shows that it 
happens tends to happen more in women or in men but i do want to say you know before ending this video if you ever find yourself really negatively down about your self-image or your self-esteem whatever triggers you again find that source and cut it off you know or make sure you see less of it control what you are intaking from the media i also want to invite you to critically observe these images that you are intaking from the mass media from your relationship with the media i invite you guys to look at what you're seeing is this real is this reliable you know how many filters are they using what you know what camera are they using because we all look different from you know online through the person and i i do truly invite you to start that practice you know be mindful of what you see online and i also want to state that you know surround yourself with positive things if you find yourself feeling extremely down about your body image find the source please i i i implore you to find that source and cut it off because I would never want any of you guys to let society corrupt your mind and change the way you think because everyone's body is beautiful and I do want to state that I am totally for exercising and taking care of yourself only when you are doing it in a healthy way and in a way that doesn't harm you or others i think that is extremely important and if you're not happy with your body you can do something about it but i implore you to do it in a healthy way and again i want to just get this message out there on how much the media affects every aspect of our lives especially our body images i am sure we've all you know compared our, compared ourselves to something we've seen online you know instagram is my enemy <laughs> but um i have caught myself just looking at this picture of this woman and i think she's so beautiful and i start comparing myself to that person you know and i invite you guys to when you guys are in that moment catch it and think about it and rephrase it instead say this girl has really pretty eyes but oh i actually have pretty eyes too you know not in a spiteful way of course but i encourage you guys to look at the beauty that you guys have within yourselves before i dismiss myself i do want to say that if any of you guys are struggling with something like this with a you know a negative self a body image or anything that i have talked about i really welcome you guys to reach out to me even though i know i'm not like licensed or anything at all i would really love to you know help you guys get over um, maybe your situation that you're going through because communication is something so amazing and it can help each and every one of us and yeah i encourage you guys to reach out if you guys have any questions any concerns i am available um thank you all so much for watching this video please tune in to the next one and i hope you guys enjoyed goodbye see you later